بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome in a new video of your channel Aboyed channel for education and today we will know about important thing in our life about manners of eating First, there are some rules of food in Islam and for the other religions or other people, non-Muslim, maybe they have another rules. So, this will be a specific from side for Islamic or Muslims people and from the other side for the whole people. This is the rules of food in Islam. Should this food be halal? And halal means should be as the rules of Quran and Hadith. Rules of Quran means rules of Allah that mentioned in Quran and rules of Hadith means rules of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some of these rules are should this hala this food not contain of pig meat and this food should or this meat of the sheep or any animal should should slaughtered on the Islamic rules. You can know more about this Islamic rules in to slaughter the animal in Islam by searching in internet. You should say Bism Bismillah before you slaughter the animals and you sh should be facing the Qibla and you should uh, cite it on the right side like this. And should this drink is not win or drugs, alcohol or blood? Because this is haram in Islam to drink these things. And should this meat not meat of died animals? Because this also haram to eat from died animal. And you can learn more about the Islamic rules by searching in internet. This just only uh, view for some of these rules I think all these rules is not haram it is allowed in the other religions or the other people whatever their religion or whatever their thing so let's start about manners of eating. We have three type of manners of eating. The first one before eating and the second during eating and the third after eating. What are the manners before 
eating. Do you know? I think there's normally you know some of these manners because you already do these manners before you eat but we will identify exactly these manners to remember and know more about these manners one of these manners before eating you should wash your hands before eating and you should wash your hands by water and soup to be clean do you know why yeah to didn't spread the germs and while you eating so this if you didn't clean your hands before eating your hands will be not clean so if you eat even this food is clean you will make this food unclean so you will eat unclean food so you will bring the germs to your body and you will be sick so to protect yourself from germs and from sickness you should wash your hands before eating next you should say bismillah before you eat you should say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. And this manner, tasmiya or basmala, to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, you should apply saying basmala not only before you, you eat, but also in the front or in the beginning of any work that you do. I will give you examples. Before you work, before you study, before you play, before you read Quran. So you should apply this manner say basmala bismillah rahman rahim before any work you do to allah bless this work to you here the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam learned in this hadith and mention these manners in this hadith he said يا غلام سم الله وكل بيمينك وكل مما يليك. What this hadith means? The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "O oh boy," and this is, means also the boy and the girls. غلام means here in Arabic. Arabic language is Arabic language and means in English boy but also refers to both boy and girl okay Sammillah say Bismillah wa kul biyaminika eat by your right hand wa kul mimma yalika eat directly when in front of you Next, say dua before eating. You should say this dua before you eat. Bismillah wa ala barakatillah. In the name of Allah and with the blessings of Allah. 
to Allah bless your food. You should eat while you are sitting. And here another hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam learn us that to eat and drink while sitting is better than eating or drinking while standing. <clears throat> fun. The brothers and Anas radiallahu an and now sallallahu alayhi wa sallam naha an yashrub al rajula qaiman qala qatada fakulna li anas fal aklu qala thalika asharru wa akhbath wa fi riwayatu lahu an nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam zajara an ashurbi qaiman Anas May Allah bless him, reported that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, forbid us from drinking while standing. Qatada reported, we asked him, what about eating? He said, that is even worse. Or maybe he said, more dead stable. In another narration, it is mentioned that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, reprimanded us for drinking while standing, narrated by Muslim. So, eating and drinking while standing, while sitting is better than eating and drinking while standing. Never wasting your food. The Prophet وسلم, know this verse from Quran. Allah Almighty says, so eat and drink without waste. This is mentioned in Surah Al-Arab, verse 31. قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم وكلوا واشربوا ولا تسرفوا So from our Islamic rules of eating I should not waste my food eat what I need don't eat more and waste the food and throw it in the garbage you know this is haram you should eat what you need and if there is some food you should give it to the poor and needy or your neighbors don't throw it or to any animals Next, you should not mention the fault or say any bad thing about the food. This is, is not polite to mention the fault, any fault or bad thing about the food. To say, oh, yeah, like this, or oh, this is bad food. I don't like this food. How you eat this food? or drink this soup or what or drink to say like this is haram is forbidden to say like this why think why is haram to say like this yeah because this food is a blessing from Allah, He bestowed upon us this food, so I should thank Allah about this food, not say this bad food, no. 
Okay, what I should do if I don't like any food? I should not say any bad thing about this food. I should not annoying more or be angry with this food and with ang be angry with my dad or mom that cooked this food. Number three, I should ask politely to my mom to bring to me another food that I like. Not, al not allowed to drink anything or no one can uh, force, to, uh, force you to eat anything that you didn't like. But if I don't like any food, I should refuse it politely by say, excuse me, my mom, could you bring, could to be, bring to me another thing, another food? Like this. And this also mentioned in Hadith, the Prophet وسلم, said it was narrated by Abu Rami Allah, be blessed with him, that Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, never found fault with food. If he like it, he would eat, and if he dislike it, he would leave it, narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. We reach to the manners during eating. Could you tell me some manners that you should apply during eating? Think little. Yeah. You should write with your right hand. From Sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and as we learned before, in the previous from the previous hadiths that we mentioned before, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he he said, "O oh, O oh human, say Bismillah and eat one in front of you and eat was with your right hand. You should." Start your eating by your right hand. Here a challenge question. If I only should eat by my right hand, so how could I use my left hand? Or it is haram to use my left hand in eating? You can think little about this matter. Yeah, it is not haram in Islam to eat by your left hand. But I, I said, if you, if you was focused, I said you should start your eating and depend on your right hand more while you, you eat. But it is not haram to use your left hand. Because maybe someone asked why Allah created me two hands if He ordered me to eat only by by only one hand, the right. No, so to remove this confusion that maybe reach to the minds of some of you, it is not haram to use my left hand in our eating but I should start and depend more on my right hand while eating and use it while eat just only use my left hand to help me to hold another thing or to bring some another thing Neck is don't blowing over the food or drink, whatever it is hot or cold. 
I should not blowing in the food or drink. This is not polite. Maybe someone asked the food uh, or drink may be so hot like this, yeah, and I need to do this. No, this is not polite. And uh, uh, some scholars say that this may, may be make the food or drink not good. So you should not plowing. So what I what I should do? You should wait little until this food be good to eat or drink, whatever this food or drink. You should eat one in front of you. This is also from the manners. While eating, I should eat directly one in front of you. And here another a challenge question. If any food is far away of me on the table and I need some of it, how I could get it? If you told me that I should eat directly on in front of me, so if some food is far away of me, so how could I bring it or get it? Think little about the answer. Yeah, you should ask politely anyone of your family who sit beside this type of food like this can ask excuse me my dad could you bring some of this food excuse me my mom my brother my sister could you could i have some of this like this and if you forgot to say Bismillah in the beginning of eating, what I should do? You should leave basmala. If I, if you remember while you eating that you forgot to say basmala in the beginning, do you know what you should do? Yeah, you should say. بسم الله أوله وآخره in the name of Allah in the beginning and in the end look to this picture and try to answer what this picture refers to yeah you should clean your mouth don't leave any food. On your mouth. And you should clean it. By tissue. Or anything. And this also. What this picture indicate. Yeah. You should not fill your mouth by food. This is also not politely. And also you should not make a sound while eating. This annoying others. You should chew the food well. And this also for your healthy. Don't hurry while eating. You should eat slowly and it should the food well. Now we reach to the third manners. About manners after eating. You can mention some of manners after eating what you should say or do after you finish your food. Think little. Yeah. First, you should say this dua. Alhamdulillahi alladhi atamana 
وسقانا وجعلنا من المسلمين All praises are due to Allah who has fed us and given us to drink and made us Muslims and there are more hadiths I can or more du'as I can say after eating this is another du'a Alhamdulillah Hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fiyah غير مكفي ولا مودع ولا مستغن عنه ربنا and another hadith الحمد لله الذي أطعمني هذا الطعام ورزقنيه من غير حول مني ولا قوة I can say any one of these hadiths or these du'as after eating. Why I should say this du'a after eating? Yeah, to thank Allah about this blessing, about this food that he bestowed upon me. So Allah will bless me and give me more and will love me. And after you finish your food, also you should wash your hands. So you can tell me how many times you should wash your hands while eating or during having any meal or any food. Yeah, you should wash your hands two times, one before eating and one after eating. Also, to keep your hands and yourself healthy. And you should help to clean the table and dishes after finishing your food. And you should also help to carry the dishes to the kitchen and you you can help your mom and dad in washing the dishes so the the father and the kids should help the mom in washing the dishes. Now we finish our video about manners of eating and I hope you benefit from this video. Thank you so much for your watching and listening and if you like this video press subscribe like share and write in a comment you need and i will be happy if you write in a comment to me about what you need from videos or what you need to learn about it or anything you want or any comment about this video I will be pleasure to talk and answer you. Thank you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.